crime knows no frontiers. To combat the growing menace of the international criminal, the police forces of the world have opened up their own national boundaries. At their headquarters in Paris, scientifically equipped to match the speed of the jet age, 63 nations have linked together to form the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol. <laughs> wired up somewhere, I'd like one of you on stage. Okay, Sage. Pass me a barrel, if you please. Thank you. And another one. Thank you. And now, the magic wand. inside the bag. And this one. Now you give me the bag. Thank you. And you take the magic wand. Just a gentle tap. That's the print from the Amsterdam diamond robbery. And this is the matching print from our files. Hmm. Identical. And they both belong to Sash Moran. One of the cleverest safe crackers in Europe. Could the Amsterdam print be a fake? A fake? Yes, a copy of Moran's fingerprint, applied in some way. Oh, no, there's only one way that could have been applied by the finger that made it. Hmm. Look at those tiny specks made by sweat glandules. That's a genuine print, all right, Moran's. Shall I put out a message for his arrest? Don't bother. I'm going to London. When that job was done, Sash Moran was in a British jail. He's been there three years. Enter, Paul. What do you want me to tell you about? Life in this dump? Two days ago in Amsterdam, a safe was cracked. $20,000 worth of diamonds were stolen. So? I don't get the papers delivered here. The fingerprints were yours, Moran. Fine. Yours. Who are you kidding? The prints are identical. Okay. So I sneaked out of here, I pulled a job, I came back and nobody noticed. When I heard you out? Should have been a week ago. He lost some remission through creating a disturbance. Okay, so I got bored with a prison sermon and I gave it to Bird. Was that worth another week? A lucky week for you. Wait a minute. If I'd have been out, I'd have been... You would have been right in line to take the rap. Any idea who would want to frame you? They faked my prints. The prints were real. Know how they got there? How do I know? Well, do me a favor, will you? Just find the guy who planted them. Just find them. Hard case. The only useful job he did in his life was during the war with special services. What did he do? What he's done ever since. Safe break. Well, there's one safe he didn't break, the one in Amsterdam. Is it possible that somebody else has precisely the same prints? Absolutely impossible. That's what makes it such an interesting case to solve. Hmm. Amsterdam, the city of diamonds. I flew from London and reported my interview with Moran to the Dutch police and saw where the robbery had taken place the office of a firm owned by Jacob Maltz. As diamonds go, it was a small theft, but mine is a small business inspector, so I suffered. We're doing our best. Does the presence of Interpol mean that the man is out of Holland by now? He always has been. 
If we believe the evidence, I don't understand. We got fingerprints from the bulb of this lamp where the drill was plugged in. Fingerprints of a safecracker who's in jail, in Britain. A man who's locked up steals my diamonds? You're joking, of course. It's no joke. But it's impossible. Unless someone in Amsterdam has identical prints. And that's impossible, too. Are you trying to tell me they were put there to make it look like this band worked? Except the work doesn't carry his true hallmark. Look at that. Clumsy. Our man's an artist. But why should anyone want to frame him? We don't know why, or even how, yet. Yes? Inspector? Yes, John? Paul, a message from London. Thank you, Jean. We've got company. Moran got his official release this morning and flew straight here. Let's check where he is. Thank you, Herr Do you have a Mr. Moran registered here? He phoned about half an hour ago. When is he expected? His bags have arrived from the airport, but he said he wanted to look around Amsterdam before signing in. Are you having picked up? In what charge? The moment he gets here, telephone police headquarters. Just in case of slip-ups, here is his photograph. I know I've come to the right address. Honey, you look even better where the lights are. You know, that was a pretty smart job you did with those bulbs. Well, thanks. You know, the message they slipped me inside said that I was to expect a magician, but I wasn't bargaining on a date. I got a surprise. The Amsterdam police got a bigger surprise last week. <laughs> you bet. They're still running around in circles. They'll be going around in bigger circles by the time the boss is through. He's a pretty smart operator. How come he thought of using you? So am I at. The boys back in jail enjoyed it, too. They like something a little more shaped to look at than a buck soprano. So do I. Then we must see to it you don't go back in again too quickly. Well, my two employees displaying their different talents. I thought my job was finished. It is, but since you're in on it, you ride along with us. How far do we ride? All the way to South America. That should be far enough away for Interval. How do you like that? I like it fine. When do we go? We sail immediately after the big job. You're a pretty good fixer, aren't you, Maltz? Ah, I've planned this thing for years. I even robbed my own safe to make it work. And collected the insurance. Naturally. Well, here's to Rio. You and I are going to have fun, eh, baby? I'm cutting you in, Moran. But not all the way. I get it. She's not as much of an employee as I am, is that it? This is no time for talking. We have work to do. We? That's what I said. Tonight. I thought you wanted me on the big job tomorrow. I do. But another diversion for the police will make you the most innocent safe breaker in Amsterdam. How come we go in by key? The owner is a close friend of mine. Close enough to snatch his key? Close enough for me to have it copied. difficult as getting your fingerprints out of prison. Where do you want them? On the lampshades, counter, on the safe. Not too many, just enough. How about that, eh? Sash Moran, top safe cracker, dabbing his paws all over everything. <laughs> Not Sash Moran, but an amateur with identical fingerprints who's supposed to be framing you. Okay, that should do it. I better blow. Well, just a moment. Something else for your signature. Oh, no, Moltz. You're not getting my prints on any gun. You think I'm crazy? One shot from this gun and your alibi is perfect. If something goes wrong, I could hang for it. Nothing will go wrong. Take it. I haven't loaded it yet. Now get your hotel. It's just next door. 
Very convenient. Leave the key in the door, let myself out. I can get you, Mr. Moran? Yeah. Call police headquarters and tell Inspector Duval I'm here. Come on in. Well, Mr. Moran. I figured you'd want to see me, so here I am. Mm, silk pajamas. Why not? Did you ever try sleeping in prison stuff? What brought you here? You figure it out. He told me that uh, some guy in Amsterdam is framing me, so what do you expect me to do? Let him get away with it? Shop next door. Come on. Busy tonight, eh? Hit an Alexa. Uh. Morans, and though he was no longer in jail, he had another unshakable alibi. We were with him when the robbery took place. All right, so the fingerprints check. So now what happens? We haven't made up our minds yet. Well, you better hurry up. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? The first frame up failed because I was in jail. So now they tried another. For which you had the perfect alibi. Yeah, you can say that again. Look, I don't care if somebody else has got the same prints or they found a way of faking mine, but you better hurry up and catch them. If you don't, I will. He was here earlier, laid his prints, then someone else took over. They're well organized. Yes. But for what? It doesn't add up. They didn't get much from Mauds. They didn't even finish here. Give them time. I think I'll give Moran some of mine. <laughs> Amsterdam is one of the gayest cities in Europe. Saturday night especially. Sash Moran behaved like a good tourist. I followed him to six different bars and three nightclubs. At his last stop, a place called the Rembrandt, he stayed longer. I decided to have a look inside. You looking for company, mister? Maybe. Well, we've got lots of pretty girls here. How about this one, the lady with the lamps? Enjoy yourself, sir. Who's here? It's not all police work, eh, Duval? Have a drink? No, thanks. I'm still on duty. Oh, so am I. My ex on soon. See you, Sash. Yeah. Nice girl. Made a hit, Moran? Just some dame. Look, never mind about my social life. What about this guy with the prints? You got him yet? Not yet. But we will. 
see you around. If I see you first. Yes, thanks. You may have pulled a rabbit from it. Frankie Silva was a cabaret artist, working in Amsterdam. The newspaper report said she gave a prison concert in Britain. I had no doubt now how Moran's prints had been smuggled out. How did she come to own a fat diamond bracelet from the firm of Jacob Motz? How did your bell know you were in the club? I don't know. He must have been telling me. What's the difference? He's gone, hasn't he? My bracelet. It's gone. Never mind about your bracelet. Did Duval go straight out from the bar? Sure he did. I saw him. Take a look at this. Now, the diamond vault is next door to the church vault. We go into the church, down this flight of stairs, and we're there. With a few hours to get the charges ready before the church service begins. By morning, we should have blown through the adjoining wall, and the safe's all yours. You know, that safe's a pretty tough baby. It's not going to be easy. Just keep thinking about what's inside. That should help. He lives on the premises. If Maltz identifies this as one of the stolen items, we've got enough to pull the girl in. What do you want? Now, Maltz, is he in? He isn't here. He's gone abroad. When did he leave? He hasn't gone yet. Tomorrow, he said. Then why isn't he here? He said he was spending a last night with some friends at a nightclub. The Rembrandt. Church vault's a cold place to spend the night, isn't it? Not so cold when it's next door to a diamond mine. Come on. Frankie Silver. Well, she's gone. This was her last night in the show. Any idea where she's gone? No, she went with an American and her friend, Mr. Maltz. Her friend? Sure. 
Well, a sugar daddy, if you like. He used to pick her up lots of times after the show. Hmm. As an OSS agent in wartime, Moran may have raided a safe in Amsterdam. I had a hunch there was one safe he'd been specially hired by Jacob Maltz to break again. Within a few minutes, the Interpol message room had flashed Washington to see if the answer was in their files. Meanwhile, in Amsterdam, the search was being intensified. Put another two cars on the job. They haven't been spotted. Washington may help. If the message gets here in time. In 1943, Moran was dropped by parachute on the outskirts of Amsterdam. Hurry, the Groot's diamond house. They planned it big, all right. The Groot's have one of the largest stocks in the world. During the war, Moran was especially trained to crack their safe and steal from the Germans. We've been to the building, Captain. Nothing's been touched. You checked the safe? Seems all right, sir. Well, let's take a look. Let's keep back. They may blow it. Put a cordon around the church. Giving it the personal touch, Moran. There really are your fingerprints this time. Go on, you two. And you, Moran. Thank you. 